Hey again, BeatStar fan, Ben Madsen here with a quick video where I just want to go over my thoughts on BeatStar's most recent update. This update includes a few gameplay changes, as well as the fourth season of the recurring tour pass, otherwise known as, finger quotes, iconic mix. Still up in the air over whether or not I'll do a full season 4 review video again, but there are some things I've been asked to share my thoughts about with this update. So let's jump right in. As most of you watching this video know, you unlock most new songs in BeatStar by opening those mysterious little boxes, let's call them beat boxes. You play songs and earn beat coins and get boxes once you have enough coins to fill the box up. You can earn up to 150 coins per song if you clear it, and before this update, each box required 450 coins to fill up. You can hold up to three boxes, but only start the timer to open one box at a time, with these boxes either taking three or five hours each to open, and assuming you're clearing most songs you play, you're getting roughly a song an hour for free. However, this update bumped this back from 450 coins per box to 300, or three song clears to two. This effectively cuts your free-to-play songs by a third, which is a tough pill to swallow by itself. No biggie though, right? Because a lot of us would buy the $5 per week unlimited play pass to not have to deal with waiting on those pesky boxes. Or at least we did, because that option was quietly removed from the shop in the same update. Space Ape replaced it with another option for unlimited play. Unfortunately, this one sucks. The new option is to purchase one hour at a time of unlimited play using gems only. It's 50 gems for an hour, which starts at a dollar and gets slightly cheaper if you buy larger gem bundles. Just speaking for myself here, but I'd imagine the majority of us, especially those who bought the unlimited play pass, play more than five hours a week. Therefore, if you plan to go nuts on BeatStar going forward, you better be ready to buy a crap load of gems. So here's the problem. Besides both of these changes being almost definitively bad for the entire player base, they were both introduced at the same time, which feels like a big greedy one-two punch from Space Ape. Additionally, the way they teased this update to the players was like it was going to be a positive change. So when it was all revealed, it ruffled some feathers, and by that, I mean pissed off everyone. Look, I get it, they're a company. They license expensive music, hire a bunch of employees, run some servers, and pay their taxes. Money's great, I like money, I want money too, but it's very important for companies to find a good balance between making money and maintaining an enthusiastic player base. Most players are already in agreement, the $15 price point for the monthly tour pass is a bit on the steep side. With a decent bit of free song releases this month, I was starting to see some murmurs of respect again for the generosity of the Space Ape team. Well, that's pretty much out the window again at this point. A lot of people have asked me if I expect either change to be reverted, and honestly, I'd say no. I could see a longer chunk of unlimited playtime being introduced for more gems, but I'd say they're going to test this out for a while and get some income data before making any adjustments. It's important to note that if you manage to unlock all Journey songs, you currently get unlimited free play, at least until they add new songs to the Journey, assuming that ever actually happens. Space Ape has claimed new Journey songs are coming, but it's been months and there don't seem to be any signs of that being true. We'll see. So what else happened this update? Oh yeah, Iconic Mix hits the BeatStar universe with 9 new songs. Although they also added Who Let the Dogs Out to the global client, so I'm going to include that with this update. That's 10 new songs, 1 extreme, 5 hards, and 4 normals. If you've watched my extreme tier list video, you'll see that I consider the new extreme, The Trooper, to be the current overall hardest song in BeatStar. It's incredibly well charted and has a cool, intense boss song vibe. The new hard charts are overall pretty good, except levels, though they are a little tougher than usual this time. You can tell the team has gotten more creative with their charting, and it's cool to see some new patterns and ideas come into play with these charts. Similar to the hards, the new normals are also great. They have the usual super easy new edition and every you every me, but also have mood, which I believe has the highest note count in the game for a normal chart at 399. All four of these songs are pretty fun, no complaints here. This may be my favorite tour pass so far, it's just a shame the whole thing has been tainted by the well-founded complaints about the limited gameplay access changes. Do you hate the new changes too? Be vocal, but temper your expectations. These companies, unfortunately, typically cater to the average player base, most of whom are 5% as hardcore about this game as we are. Does it suck? Yeah, it does, but that's just the reality of it a lot of the time, especially with free-to-play mobile games. Let me know what you think about this update in the comments below. Do you think they'll revert anything next patch, introduce something new, or just quietly continue and hope everyone moves on? Huge shoutouts to all my subscribers, watchers, and likers. If you haven't already, click that cool looking subscribe button and support my channel. 
As I hit the halfway point for Diamond Perfect videos for each song in the game, my content is going to shift a lot more to tips, tricks, explanations, lists, and discussion videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the internet.